Welcome back to modding the original Xbox. This is part 19, video B on XBMC Origins. In today's video, I'm going to address a comment made in video A by iModStuff. They said, something I would love to see is the implementation of the temps at the top or bottom of the screen. Great work so far. Thank you so much for your comment, iModStuff. This is exactly what we are going to cover for this video today. I'm not gonna lie, I did sneak around in someone else's origin skin to try to figure out how this was implemented, and I ended up figuring it out. Hopefully they don't get too mad, but I believe the Xbox community should be open as much as possible, and we should all be doing what we can to help each other and contribute to the community as a whole. I'm trying to do my part with these videos, and if you agree with what I just said, then smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now I'm not saying this is the best way to do this. I think with a little more development of the skin, this could be configured in so many different ways that could be better for novice users. But I'm just setting it up the way I like, and I will give you the tools and information to set it up the way you like. Okay, let's dive in. So I have FTP'd into the original Xbox and navigated to my XBMC skins folder, located at E, Apps, XBMC, Skin, XBMC Origins, 720p. And there is a file here called includes.xml. Let's drag this file over to our computer and open it with Notepad++. Now that the file is open, we should save a copy of it just in case something happens. Select File, Save As, and change it to includes.old. Close Notepad++ and reopen includes.xml in Notepad++. Scroll down till you see Interface System Info. Two lines below this, you will see a tag that says Visible Skin .has Settings. Just delete this entire line. This will force our stats bar to show up all the time. Now we can hit Save and we will copy the file back over. I'm going to rename the includes.xml on the Xbox to includes.old and copy the new includes.xml file back to the Xbox and then reboot it. And now you can see at the top and bottom of the screen we have the stats bars, but I think I want something just a little bit different. I don't want the lower stat bar and I want to put some more stuff in the upper stat bar. So back on the computer, let's modify the line that shows the upper stat bar. There is a character that separates the lines, kind of an O with a dot above it. I'm going to replace that with an asterisk, so the easiest way to do that is to highlight it and press Ctrl C to copy it, and then press Ctrl H on the keyboard to open the Find and Replace dialog box. Under Find What, press Ctrl V to paste the character, and under Replace With, put in the character you want. Mine will be the asterisk. Click Replace a few times till all the characters have been replaced. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn off the bottom bar. Under the label, we can type in Left Angle Bracket, Visible, Right Angle Bracket, False, Left Angle Bracket, Forward Slash, Visible, Right Angle Bracket. And that should show off the bottom text. We'll now copy this just above these lines of code, right under the common transparency ping texture. This will turn off the stats bar background for the bottom bar. Okay, so let's make some adjustments to what is visible in the top bar. Let's say you don't care about the CPU usage. We can just copy the line below from our bottom stat bar that says network IP address and replace the text that says system.cpu usage with network.ip address. After we do that, we'll need to make some adjustments to the localized text. What this does is allows the text to be convertible to other languages. So if someone decided to change the language from English to Spanish, the proper text would show up in Spanish. I don't believe this skin was ever configured to do anything but English, and because that is the only language I care about, I will just remove the dollar sign localized text and the numbers in the brackets after it. Then you can just type in IP address. Another thing I will mention is the B inside of the brackets before and after our text is simply to change the text to bold. Now if we want to make things easier for us, we can copy an entire line of text right after our first text to highlight the three characters of spaces before our asterisks, all the way to the last closed square bracket. Then we simply paste this right before the three spaces before an asterisk appears, or directly at the end of the entire line. 
but before the left angle bracket. Now you have a template to work with. We have two CPU temps. Let's change one of them to version. The stat that I want to show up is the Xbox version number. How can we do this? There is actually a page you can go to designed for skinners of XBMC. On this page is a giant list of all of the different labels you can add to the stat bar. I'll leave a link in the description. Scroll down till you see Appendix 3, List of Info Labels. Anything here can be added to the stat bar. On this list is System.XboxVersion. If we add this to our top stat bar, we should see the version of our Xbox. Okay, let's change a few more things up. I will rename the localized text for the CPU temp to CPU temp, as well as GPU temp. System.free memory will be changed to RAM. Another stat bar item we could add is what is inside the DVD tray. I will type tray, and according to the XBMC skinning manual, we should type system.dvd label. What about hard drive free space? I will type HDD free and system.free space. Okay, let's save this and copy it over to our Xbox and reboot. Sweet, take a look at that. Our bottom bar is gone, our top bar has all the information. The version initially says busy, but then shows a guess as to which version we have. There's something next to the GPU temp that doesn't look right, and the hard drive free seems to run past the screen. So I just found this. The command I used was system.freespace. We should use the command system.freespace% instead. I did see an extra close bracket after the GPU temp, so I'll get rid of that, and we can test this again. Now after a reboot, the GPU temp close bracket is gone, and our hard drive free space says 3% free. But notice how it's starting to run off the screen. Under the aligny text, let's add the left angle bracket, scroll, right angle bracket, true, left angle bracket, forward slash, scroll, right angle bracket. And now you can see the text will scroll. I did come across a downside to using the scroll, however. The problem is that if items in the label change, things like the CPU temp, GPU temp, and RAM, the label would restart the scroll from the beginning. It also likes to skip and pause a lot. I don't know of any solution to this, so I decided I would remove the scroll and instead rename some of my titles to make them smaller. IP address will simply be IP, CPU temp and GPU temp will lose the temp in the name, etc. With that, I have exactly how I want my screen to look. Okay, really quick, I will bring up colors for the text. If you aren't a fan of white, you can change it to another color by typing out the name of a color as listed in the skins, colors, default.xml file. Each color in this file is set to a certain hex number. You can also just type the hex number in as shown in the skinning manual if you want to use a specific color that isn't listed. I chose to use light green. And that's it for today. Be sure to check me out in part 20, video C, where I talk more about setting up XBMC Origins. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.